Pittsburgh police want to know who shot and killed a teenager right near a park. This all happened Thursday night in the city's east side neighborhood of Garfield. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Sheldon Ingram spoke to family members of the victim and he joins us live tonight. Sheldon. Yeah, well, a makeshift memorial is set up here at Nelson Mandela Peace Park just behind me here with 17 year old Radel Pack uh, was shot and killed yesterday. And just across the street, his uncle was over there when the shots were fired. I thought it was just fireworks until I seen all, everybody running. Tinoz immediately realized it was something tragic unfolding before his eyes on the Nelson Mandela Peace Park. Knowles is the uncle of slain teenager Natel Pack, known by friends as Buddha. And the uncle says he was the first to get to his nephew. Held his arm and said, breathe. Buddha, he breathed. He, breathed. he had a breath. I said, breathe, Buddha. He had a breath. I said, breathe, Buddha. He had a breath. I held this pulse. I felt it. It was light. Police say Pack was shot five times. His relatives say several people were in the park and watched as Pack was gunned down. Was he able to communicate with you? No. He didn't say no words, but he had breaths. Mamie Williams is Pack's grandmother. He was one of her 23 grandchildren, and she was at a nearby ball field as the shots were fired. It seemed like something just dropped her. The bottom out of me. William says Pack stayed out of trouble and landed two summer jobs. He was excited about heading into his senior year at Woodland Hills High School. He was a good kid. He wasn't disrespectful. Everybody loved Buddha. Everybody loved him. Everybody except the person who shot him five times and took his life. You know, word from the street. They know who did it. And what you're looking at is that makeshift memorial and friends and family will gather here at the Nelson Mandela Peace Park at 830 to remember PAC. In the meantime, police have not announced if they have any suspects in custody. Reporting live from Garfield, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.